Have you ever wanted to have a photographic memory? Well, now you can by training yourself with this little tip. Take a deck of cards, give them a cut and turn some of them face up and shuffle them into the face down packets. You can do this any way you like, just to create a random distribution of face up and face down cards. Now, once you've done that, we're gonna spread those cards out onto a table so you can see all the face up cards and face down cards mixed. But we're not gonna count them out loud as we spread them. Instead, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes as I spread the cards out. Then I will ask you to open them and take a mental snapshot or photograph of the spread of cards. You do that literally by opening your eyes, focusing it in on the image as a whole, and then immediately close your eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna spread the cards out now. Get ready, keep your eyes closed for the time being, and I will count you in and let you know when you can uh, look at them. So keep your eyes closed, and I'll count you in in three, two, one. Open them, close them. Now, keep your eyes closed now. You've seen that image in mind, you'll be able to look at them and work out and count how many cards by looking at this mental image you have in your mind. Do you know how many you've got? Have you got a number? Is it 10, 20, somewhere in the middle? What do you think? I know that there's 17 cards, so count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 face-up cards. Now, of course, you'll be thinking, well, you've had them spread up, you could have counted them, exactly. So we'll do this again to show you in real time how this works. So we'll get the cards, we'll put them back in some kind of order together. And we will try again, but this time, we will cut uh, more cards, maybe a deeper bank, so there's gonna be a lot more face-up cards to make it more difficult. Now, don't worry if you can't do this at the start. It takes a little bit of practice, and after a while, you'll get really good at it. So, instead of spreading them, we're gonna try it a slightly different way. I'm gonna flip through like an animation book, just like that, to see the face-up cards. And I'll take a mental snapshot as I do. One more time. Make sure I get all the cards. That is 34, if I've got them right. Count them with me, 34. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I said 34, 31, 32, 33, 34, bang on. So um, you can get quite good at this. It does take a little bit of practice, but if you get really good, you can do other things at the same time. So as I was dealing and counting these, I was trying to commit these to memory through, and then a process of elimination, work out what these cards are still yet to come up. And I think I can do this in order. So that it should be the Seven of Hearts, the Queen of Clubs, Ace of Hearts, Two of Spades, Four of Diamonds, Six of Clubs, Four of Hearts, Three of Spades, Four of Spades, Three of Diamonds, Eight of Clubs, Three of Hearts, Nine of Spades, Seven of Diamonds, Eight of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, Six of Hearts, and King of Diamonds. Perfect. Did you manage to get any of that? If so, double tap and let me know in the comments.